In our last couple of videos, we've been looking at how do we create queries, and we've looked at limiting the columns that display, filtering the rows that display, as well as joining multiple tables. Let's look at one other thing, and this is something that's a little bit unique to access, but is very powerful. I'm going to choose to create a query using customers. And once again, I'm going to display first name, last name, phone, and email. However, I want to create a simple lookup that a user can use to look up some information. So I'm going to come to my last name and search under criteria and put an opening square bracket and then what I'm going to prompt the user. And I'm even going to put a question mark. It's not required, but I just think it looks a little nicer. Now, notice that it did not put quotes around this or anything like that. Access knows that if it's inside of square brackets, this is actually going to create a query prompt for us. So I'm going to come right here to data sheet view, and I'm going to put up something like, oh, let me look for Jones. Click OK. And notice it did not display anything. There was no matching information. Let me try this one more time, and I'm going to put Smith. Notice, however, because I chose Smith and there is someone with the last name Smith, it now displays it. So I can create this little prompt window, require a user to enter some information, and do a really simple lookup of a large piece of information. If I look at a SQL view, you notice all it did was kind of put in square brackets. Like I said, that's something that's really specific to access. The closest things you might find in another database might be something like a store procedure where you can have procedural variables that get passed in, and then you would pass in a value from another source. We're not doing that. This is partially because access is that desktop relational database system. So it is a little bit different. It allows you to do things a little bit differently. This is just one of them. It's a neat little trick makes it a little bit easier for you to create databases for end users who are not programmers who won't be able to create their own queries.